Hello there, it's Diorama Don here again. Um, before we proceed, uh, please click the subscribe button and you'll be informed when new videos come along. Uh, but for this uh, venture, we're just making a, a, an ordinary brick wall. Uh, one that isn't bombed or broken or falling down or exposing brickwork. Uh, just um, a, a, an ordinary brick wall with a little bit of uh, extra features on the, the pillars there. Um, make it a little bit more interesting. But it, ju just that part, just that brick wall would be uh, okay as part of a very small diorama if you were showing off a, a military vehicle. Uh, so we'll get on with it and uh, I'll show you how I went about it. So we'll start off with the brick area. Uh, there are three bricked areas like that with uh, four uh, columns, pedestals in between. Two on the end and two in the middle. Uh, I've used three millimetre cardboard, but if you haven't got three millimetre then two millimetre that will make up <laughs> the thickness of uh, three mil three pieces of three millimetre card. That's about the width of a wall in 135 scale. Uh, I think this is about nine, well it's nine millimetres. 35, that's uh, three, 30 centimetres. Is that right? Yes, 30 centimetres. So that's going to be, I mean, as, as deeper depth of wall as you would uh, expect to see. So uh, sticking three pieces together that makes up the, the depth and size of the wall. Obviously up to you what size you want. Uh, but um, three of these pieces and just hot glued them together or PVA glue whatever. So that's the bricked area and I shall use my bricks that I made to uh, cover the whole area with these small bricks. I have made videos in the past as to how I make these bricks so uh, please uh, look to see if how I, how I made these. And then on the top uh, I've cut a groove in another piece of three millimeter card to represent the coping stones that will sit on the top like that. So they're, they're quite wide but when there are bricks either side then it will uh, take up that excess space. So they will sit on there like so. Then we've got the columns. Uh, there are columns on the end with these coins, uh, corner stones. Uh, and again, I, I have made a, a video in the past as how I do my corners. And it's a two millimeter card and cut a, a, a chamfer or a 45 degree angle on uh, one side. And that will act then as two when two go together, they will make a perfect corner like that. Okay, so that, that's what it will end up looking like, like that. So one half an inch, one three eighths, half an inch, three eighths, and so on. So that will make, that will take up the two end uh, pillars. And then the ones in the middle will have, again, two millimeter card, same width. And that will sit on there. Uh, to give the impression of a, <laughs> to give the impression of that, <laughs> I don't know what you would call it. Uh, just give it uh, a, a bit of a, a design feature to the uh, center column like that. Okay, just make it look a little a little more interesting. This will just be concrete looking. Uh, no bricks on this part. And then along the bottom of, of it all, um, a plinth going around the two columns there and along the bricked area. <laughs> okay, have you got all that? Because I haven't. 
<laughs> oh yeah, then and on the top of the columns, uh, I've made another card, piece of card, just slightly bigger than the, uh, the top of the column. And then chamfered the edges, just to give it a chamfered look. <laughs> and then another piece on top of that, a little bit smaller. And then another little piece on top of that, smaller still. And then I just happened to have these little balls, like I don't know what they're for, can't remember what I bought them for. Uh, but they will sit on top of the column like that. So that will give a nice uh, nice um, appearance to the two columns in the middle. Well, no, the four columns. Okay, so there are all the bits and pieces. It takes a long time to cut out all the bits, uh, but the, the amount of cardboard is, is pennies. There's very little cardboard uh, at all. It's just the time taken cutting out all the pieces and getting the sizes right. Um, I, I've made a number of mistakes and gone back and had to cut things over again. Uh, but you get there in the end. So I will put all these bits and pieces together and uh, brick, put my bricks on, on these three areas here uh, and then fill in between the bricks with uh, grout and then uh, that will be the bricked, the bricked part and then the four columns will have uh, just a grey grout to make it look like concrete. Out of breath now. So that's what we're going to do. I will be back shortly and uh, show you. Okay, so everything is assembled now. We've got the four columns all done. Uh, two with the uh, corner stones like that. Then there is three sections of wall and then another column wall <coughs> column wall column so that's what it should look like when it's all done and it should have a stand up that's the the, the finished thing but I, I still need to put bricks on the uh, the, the center pieces um, I've done one um, I shall put a, a grey grout in between the bricks to represent the mortar. Uh, but I've got these two to do. Uh, these are the bricks that I make, uh, made from red coloured grout. And uh, I'll just show you, it, it may look a very, a very long and tedious job to do, but um, it is it is quite quick so with just a little bit of PVA glue there and a few bricks what I do if you could see is just stick a, um, a barbecue stick into the into the glue why does it never work on camera there you can actually do it quite quickly If you see what I mean. It never works properly on camera. I can do this quite normally without the camera on. As soon as the camera's on. Oh no, that's okay. So you can see there's one row done already. Like that. So it, it, it's quite a fast operation, really. I know it, it so, sounds a bit um, lengthy when you talk about sticking one brick on at a time. But uh, it, five or ten minutes and, and you can do an area like that. And it does look so much better than uh, cutting it from styrofoam or using any other method. It does look more realistic. Okay, so I shall do the other two, like that, where are we, that way. I shall do the other two sections and then stick them all together 
and will be uh, almost complete. So I'll be back in a moment. OK, so finished the brickwork off on the, the three uh, panels there and put um, a grey grout between the bricks to represent the mortar and the same grey grout for the for the four pillars. Uh, so that gives um, a concrete effect to the pillars as well. Uh, so there we are, one brick wall. Just makes a, a change to make something that's not bombed out or broken or <laughs> or uh, fall into pieces so we've just got one section of a of, of a of a piece of a piece of uh, brick wall and a bit of grass so there we are that's uh, quite easy enough to do uh, cost nothing to make just a, a few pennies a few cents worth of cardboard but it does take a little bit of time that's all uh, working out the sizes that you want and uh, uh, getting um, all the small fiddly bits and pieces uh, to, uh, cut out and what have you and then obviously putting the bricks on but worth it in the end I think you'll agree okay so there we are there's my uh, lovely brick wall um, if you've enjoyed watching this video then please uh, subscribe click the like button uh, you'll be informed when new videos come along uh, in the meantime, have a go yourself and uh, I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, happy modelling.